Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to BG Games and Videos and our anniversary special episode. That's right. It's been a year. As of today, we have been uploading videos since April 1st of 2014. And uh, so yeah, we're one years old and unfortunately G cannot be with us this time around because guess what? Despite all my best efforts to hide the damn antifungal liquid, he found it. Here, let me show you. Let me show you where he's at. Yep. Watch my fingers. There we go. Yep. There he is. No, Mr. Polar Bear. What? G? You, no, you ate 20 macarons already. Oh, God. Okay. I, the I'm going to... The rest gonna, are for me. The rest are for you. Okay. Macarons. Macarons. Okay. All right, so yeah, so as you can see, G is, uh, uh, he's incapacitated for a little while. Uh, don't know when he's gonna come back. I'm gonna take care of that, there we go. I don't know when he's gonna come back. Uh, no, the, the other back hole. Yeah, it, uh, I might have to take him to the, to the emergency room, urgent care, or you know, um, there's this doctor I know that has helped us in the past. Anyway, Don't so, touch my colon. Oh God. So as part of our anniversary special, we thought it would be fun to provide you guys with our top 10 favorite BNG episodes. These are episodes or series that for some strange reason touched our hearts in weird, weird ways. Number 10, 39 Pancake Challenge Series. Yes, this goes all the way back to when we were fledgling and just getting started, and we were getting close to 100. Well, we weren't. We weren't close to 100, but we were trying to get close to 100. And so we came up with the idea of doing a challenge, and we figured, okay, let's do a pancake challenge where we'll eat one pancake. We'll, we'll agree to eat one pancake for every two subscribers we get towards the challenge date. We did a couple series, though, of, of, of recordings leading up to the actual... Uh, challenge. There was a PSA that we did as well as part of that series that is sort of near and dear to my heart. It's only about, uh, I would say, about two minutes long, but it shows you the early signs of, of exactly what the channel was about to become if you, if you watch that PSA. Number nine, B&G Watch the Other Fellow. This is another episode that was uh, way early back in the day. B&G really hadn't come out uh, of us that sounds so wrong. This was our first attempt at doing a, a Let's Watch series, and it was our first attempt at doing me playing around with editing as uh, with multiple videos and stuff like that. So, so we hope uh, that you enjoyed that episode if you get a chance to check that out. It's, it is literally the very first of our Let's Watches and our attempt to, to start that off. So we hope you enjoy that. Number eight, B&G Play Escape Eternity. This was the actual first BNG video. We had started off back in April 1st as Bard Actor, which is where B comes from. Uh, but uh, BNG Escape Eternity was the very first uh, video of the new BNG Games and Video Channel title. Escape Eternity is a, is a one-off game that we played, uh, developed by Psionic Games. It's a great point-and-click adventure, and it's sort of a let's play, at the same time sort of gives you an insight of where we were about to head towards our let's play and our commentaries. Number seven, B plays amateur poet, I suck at sonnets. Now, we developed a, a great relationship way early on with a, a guy named Chris Hall. He is the euphoric rager. Um, by playing his taco simulator, which is also a great video. And so he created this game called <laughs> Amateur Poet, um, just for me, essentially, where it was basically, he took the sonnets, he, he mixed them all up by lines, and I had, you know, your job is to try to put it together and, and, and you have very little time to do it. Uh, and so I started playing around with musical editing. So I took the 1812 overture, I, I underlaid it uh, as, and then, sort of started playing with editing of video to the music. So that is one of my favorites. Uh, number six, this is G's favorite, Drunken Johnny. BNG played Drunken Johnny. We actually got requested to play this game. It's a very, very fun puzzle game um, in which you play a drunk guy trying to get down an elevator. Um, G decided to take on a character known as Drunken Jackie to play Drunken Johnny. And uh, it is one of his favorite characters of all time is Drunken Jackie. So, and we promise you, Drunken Jackie will be back. 
I, I don't know how we're going to bring her back, but we're going to bring her back. So, so Drunken Johnny, awesome, fun time we had playing that game. Uh, it was an honor to be asked to play the game, and it was the first time we ever saw Drunken Jackie. Number five, under construction channel announcement. Okay, now this is important. To, again, we started off as the Bard Active channel. We changed into BNG Games and Videos around, I want to say it was around October. Um, so, you know, for the first six months or so, we started off as Bard Active and then we changed over. Uh, as we were getting ready to go into that, I decided it would be fun to, to go ahead and create a, a video to announce that. And what's interesting about this video is that neither B nor G are in the video. It's actually a bunch of actors from the Cincinnati Shakespeare Company who uh, who agreed for donuts. I paid them with donuts to, to film this little you know two minute vid that sort of explains that hey, Bard actors going away and being replaced by B and G, um, and uh, so literally they, they play a construction crew. So the idea is that the channel is being reconstructed. Um, and they act, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a great two-minute uh, two vid. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, uh, Billy Chase plays the, the lead in that video. He's a very, very funny guy, and I, I'm hoping to get him on this channel sometime very soon. Uh, number four, Lost Legends of Wrestling, Jack Duffy, Part D. <laughs> okay, now this is a series that we hope to bring back sometime really soon. Um, but essentially, you know, we... We're, we're both kind of wrestling fans. Uh, G's a bigger wrestling fan than I am. Um, and we have sort of a nostalgic fandom towards wrestling. So we, we, we love watching, you know, old promos, especially Macho, macho Man Randy Savage. So we decided, you know, what it would be fun if, since some of those promos from the 80s were so bad, I mean so bad, because this is like pre-WWF, we figured, you know, why not have our own fun and create a character named Jack Duffy, who was in the 80s and wasn't really a superstar by any means, uh, but always got the, the crap beaten out of him by the big superstars of, the, of, uh, of that time. So, so that's where Jack Duffy came from. There is a part one, but part two, part D, is my favorite just because we, we sort of see sort of a development of the character with Jack Duffy uh, and Dirk Vandervert. Number three, B and G eat the world. Vegemite versus Marmite. I think people just like to watch people eat stuff and go oh on on camera. I, I, there's just something about it. Vegemite versus Marmite definitely was one of those episodes where we put our taste buds to the test and we got our taste buds asses kicked uh, by Vegemite and by Marmite. So uh, that's going to be one of our top ten probably for a very very long time. Uh, number two. This is G's favorite. B and G play the fourth wall, Zuzu's Pedals. This was an indie game we found off of Game Jolt, which is a simple little game. It's, it's the, the video itself, I think, lasts only for about five minutes. Um, that is just a cute little game about a snowman trying to escape a TV set. Uh, and again, it was just one of those things where we had fun playing the game. It came out that we were having fun playing the game. And at the same time, B and G uh, personalities were really starting to take hold. So we had a lot of fun. Uh, and I, I can easily understand why it was one of G's favorites. God, he's really quiet over there all of a sudden. Anyway, so, uh, and then now let's lead us to our number one. Our number one B&G video for the past year, this comes from G, is B&G Play Mr. Nuts. It is one of my favorites as well. It's another editing milestone for me. I started playing around with the nut counter. Okay, G starts going through the episode and he is, he starts dropping the word nuts as many times as he possibly can. And it's just his favorite. He loves, he, he actually created the story of, of a squirrel named Richard M. Nuts, uh, who had a proclivity of hanging out inside people's cavities. Uh, I'm just going to go there and leave it at that. But uh, so yeah, it, it's one of his all time favorites. Uh, he actually admits that he goes back and that he actually watches this video on a regular basis, okay? Uh, and I, it's one of my favorites because, I, yeah, I actually took, it was one of the times where I actually took the time to create this nut counter. Uh, and it was, I didn't have Sony Vegas still. It's the old, cheap uh, video editor that I had. So it was me playing around with that and trying to get the size right. It, it, was, it was a lot of fun. So that is our top 10, our top 10 videos of all time.
What would you consider to be a top 10 B&G vid? I know that sounds like a very egotistical question to ask, but we really are kind of curious because one of the things we've found over just the past couple months is we found, you know, we found our community. We found a group of people that, that we love watching and we love hearing from. And, uh, and you guys have become very vocal with us and letting us know what you like. And, and you've also let us know by not letting us know <laughs> what is okay, you know, and, and that helps us out so much. So we would love to hear from you. What would you consider to be one of your all time top 10 BNG vids? We will be coming back. We're going to have some more Q and A that'll start back up next week. Uh, we've got a new series on our way called uh, Grin and Barrett, which is our own little uh, take on YouTube tutorial videos. Uh, we've got, you know, Eat the World's coming back. We got more Let's Plays. I got Walking Dead coming up right around the corner some more. I know you're all looking forward to that, aren't you? And, uh, I'm raising. Yeah. And I got to find a way to get him off this antifungal liquid. I'm Rehab. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to no. take you to rehab. Anyway. I'm not going on antifungal methadone again. Yes, he is. He's going to no. go antifungal methadone again. So. Give me the cotton candy microphone. There you go. I just threw it to you. What? There's a cotton candy microphone. I don't see it. Okay. It's, it's there. Okay. Okay. There's so, a snow cone. The only other thing that, uh, that I think both of us uh, share in our sentiment is that from October on, we have wound up meeting some really great people out there. We, up until October, we had a couple of fantastic subscribers who uh, interacted with us. Barry the Perry, I'm gonna give you another shout out, dude. You just deserve it. Barry the Perry has been our subscriber for a very long time and he has- He owes me a muffin. He owes G a muffin. Right along with the Euphoric Rager, uh, did a lot of great collaborations with him and hoping to do some more in the future with him. Collabo. Collabo, that's right. But then in October, like the doors opened up and we met so many wonderful people. Uh, we met uh, Jerry from Watch, Us, Watch Me Game. We met Brad from Bronin Games. We met Angela and Lisa from the Double Damsels. Uh, you know, the, the list just goes on and on and on. You know, Rick motherfucking hood. And uh, then the Watch Us Game community, Flaming Monocle, rent -a hero Ivory, all these wonderful people in our community. Uh, I, the list, I, I, I could keep going. They all owe me muffins. And they all OG muffins. Blueberry. Blueberry. So, Chocolate. exactly. So, and, and the, the thing we're, I guess we're looking forward to the most over the next year is. Banana nut. Is banana nut muffins for G and meeting more of you. Uh, so whenever we say to you in our videos, hey, leave us a comment, we really do mean it. I mean, we take the time to, to read all the comments that come across. You know, our schedules have been picking up a little bit, so we haven't had a chance to, to reply as quickly as we like. But trust us, we read your comments, and when we get the chance, we definitely want to strike up a dialogue with you and reply back. So we love hearing from you. We love meeting you. And it has been a fantastic year so far. And we're looking forward to another year of great uploads and a lot of fun. No, Mr. Snuffles. The mint jelly's for the rack of lamb. After the rehab. So, until next time, I'm B. This is... I'm drooling. And my shoulder. And remember, the game you play could be your own. Take care. I don't know where I am right now. <laughs>